All right. Um, I think we got to give that barbarian another go. They did not get justice. I can buy strength potions. Even see the Cyclops? Do you not need to look in the mirror? Is that all it said was see it? I think usually it's defeat. You don't don't mess with fish. Wow. Can you like offer blood to Grievous, I wonder? We should try that if we find one. Uh oh, there's fish here. Cyclops game, yeah. What's up, Artegas? We can get hot water if we want. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of enemies, even if they're just weak ones. Is there a dagger here? Oh my god, the rat. I guess I should have used my other one. My axe. room. Looking rats. Black dragons. Rocks, boulders, magma. The stone-faced dragon sure knows what to do with it. I haven't seen that one yet. Hang on, this ogre looks quite intelligent. Still, he cannot be reasoned with. Oh dear. Is that fire magic he is casting? Ogre Magus. That must be a boss. Allergy for dummies. On meteoric iron. Meteoric iron is a rare and precious metal. It is hard to find and you and difficult or expensive to acquire. 
You can find a forge with sufficient power. You may try forging meteoric iron and imbue it with magic symbols or sigils. This will allow you to create powerful magic items and weapons. The more meteoric ore you use, the stronger your product will be. Never heard of that before. Meteoric ore. I wonder where that comes from. You can make stronger weapons with it. some shallow water up there there's a forge here I don't have any of that meteoric iron stuff I want to try that we need to build a spaceship to farm meteors This game does have an aliens mode, some kind of alien mode. It's, it's, it's DLC. The lesser kitchens. Of course you find oil in a kitchen, huh? Oh my god, the spear. I gotta stop doing that. God, he pulled it out right when <laughs> I was about to swing. Sneaky kobold. Dude, those guys wrecked me so hard. Not cool. I might use these spears. That axe is hard to use and only does 12 damage. Is 10. Can I get I can use a shield with it? Are these meteors? I wonder what they look like. That black dragon thing say something about meteors? No, rocks, boulders, and magma. What are these rocks? What kind of gas is this, I wonder? That's steam. Hey, what up, Xylon? Yes, our mono eye. I gotta stop doing that. The, the proper way to fight these guys is to bait out their stab, which I did not do successfully there. I think our axe will actually be better against this guy. The anonymous gift sub. This oh, this guy's oh, you speared me. I didn't even realize you had a spear. That's actually incredibly frustrating. I'm gonna die to this guy. He has too many weapons. How am I supposed to compete with that? isn't fair. Wait, what is that? Is that fire? What are you? A troll. I thought it was an ogre. 
These huge lumbering brutes must be trolls. You can tell by their thick hide that apparently protects them just as well as any armor. Your swords and daggers barely seem to be able to slash through it. When angered, they use their highly corrosive stomach fluids to weaken their opponents. On top of that, they regenerate pretty fast. You don't say. Oh my god, the, the switch got me. I'm gonna die here again. This is a brutal level. Trolls aren't um, like level two enemies, especially when they have secondary weapons that make them really hard to fight. Is he regenerating faster than I can hurt him? Clearly not, because he's taking damage, but it is taking forever. Oh my god. He didn't drop anything good. That was brutal. We're out of all healing items at the beginning of level two. Like, it. I feel like <laughs> losing that much health this early is like borderline losing the game already. Like, it's a huge problem. But we're not quitters. Might have been the single scariest thing you've seen me fight in a while. That was nasty. I don't know why it summoned it, or we had to fight one of those so early. I might die to fish again with this much health. Hopefully these kitchens have rations in them. you come from? Oh my god. Elf chops. Dude. Alright. Where's the potion of life? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I should have surprise attacked Elf Chops. All right. Game saved. For now. Don't heal. Keep that cleaver away from me. Ooh. Is he a goblin that is a butcher, or does he butcher goblins? Um, I think he's a goblin that's a butcher. Two healing potions. Alright, this, this game's turning around. It's a rough freaking start, but it's turning around. What does cleaver do? Ten slashing, increased chance to cause bleeding. are looking up. Oh, did I miss a chest up there? With some bombs? I can't 
can take that. And the shovel sucks. It's an apple. The apple's logo. Can I like these? While well, they're on the ground. Maybe? Try that again. Nope, I just keep trying to pick them up. Is there fire here? <laughs> I almost did mix up my bombs with my ration, so maybe it is apple -y. Oh great, the dungeon's on fire. We'll come back to that later. Chops the butcher. Oh, shoot, you did not. Oh, my God, get away from that. Secret wall down here? All right, okay. This fire is prop. Oh, dude, these fish. They got me from the bridge. Spears. About it. I'm so bad at these spears. So it cost me a bomb to get in here. And all that there is back here is a bomb. Look at this cloud. That is some dense. Whatever gas that is. Okay, let's go to this door. I wonder if there's a way to turn off that turret. Let's use this heavy club in one hand, or two hands. Yeah, what up, MTF? It's going well. These runs are uh, getting brutal, though. Sophie. I feel like we want to ally with Grievous. It's like such a barbarian thing to do. I'm willing to give Sophie another chance, but she was terrible in that game, yep. That is complete truth. <laughs> Sus. 
Celine. I wonder what class Celine is. Geek Squeak. <laughs> Geek Squeak. That's a new one. Geek Squeak. If I've translated these ancient texts correctly, I found the mythical forge of destiny. This is the legendary place where density taught the secret of metalcraft to mankind and is located in this very dungeon. Oh, to be able to prove this place is real. It's a scientist's dream come true. Oh, wow. So they weren't kidding when they said a forge of sufficient strength. There's actually like a special forge here. I just thought that meant any forge, honestly. So that means a meteor ore is probably something special that we're gonna find and we can bring it to the Forge of Destiny to do something, I'm guessing. Oh, is it density or destiny? That's a good question. Oh, it is destiny, but yeah, density. Is this game any good ass Ludo Motion dev channel? <laughs> Oh, this game's great. This game is awesome. Well, well, I've heard rumors of a staff that shoots fireballs that is hidden in the smoking vault, Staff 5. It does sound handy. Okay, I think her axe is actually better than this cleaver now that we have strength. I'm not noticing the increased bleeding chance of doing much. And I think we can move on from this floor. Wait, was there something down here? There was. tried the game a bit after a long time and it seems the save system works. Is that the issue you're having that made the game unplayable? If so, I'm awesome that it works now so you can actually play it. Let me see if this does anything. Nope. The Gallery of Embers. <laughs> That's a lot of torches, or braziers. <laughs> Free Blossom's Diary. Aha, I finally spotted a curious chest in a small rock in the Lapa Lake. Let's just take a picture of it because I have no clue how to get it. That's awesome. I'm glad you can play it now. I heard shrill shrieks nearby. It's the kind of bat that loves to just take a little bite out of your neck. Sounds like vampire bats. Burnt pages. Oh, I had a feeling that would be a trap chest. It's like he opens this. Convenient. the vampire bat. Oh, and here's a grievous altar. Um, I don't have extra puzzles or bosses turned on. When I first started playing this game, wow, did I really take damage from those eggs? Um, it was recommended that I play with extra puzzles, so I did play with extra puzzles on for a very long time. But this is with neither for now. Strong are your arms, vicious are your tusks. I want to give this guy my axe. Let me be your weapon. Something, something. Um, I think these are usually potions of explosion. know what else he likes. That wasn't the kind of reward I was hoping for. But I've 
heard that he likes weapons that have high kill counts on them, which is why I figured I'd try giving him that. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's a well-placed brazier. Oh, he might have liked the heavy club. close. I should have just pulled the brazier closer. Alright, well that's an exit. Some of these walls are weak. I need a magic device that goes boom. Those walls won't stand a chance. That bomb counts. Does the switch work again? Windmill. Oh, I have to make it windy. Okay. Staff of Flames, that's cool. That sounds handy. I like just popping downstairs so I can get the map intel. Ooh. Oh, I'm burning. Let's drink water. I'll eat a ration. I have seven rations and two healing potions. Two life potions. As a barbarian, life potions give me nine max health, which is pretty significant. Kind of rock, huh? <laughs> Got it. I don't like that kind of rock. Ouch. Drop ore? No. What do you think? Was that sulfur? I wonder what kind of rock that is. I don't need that shovel. This game tell me to dig. I feel like I found so many shovels here. So that was what? Yellow? Oh shoot, do I need to get this bat? There's no way, right? This can't be how you're supposed to solve this puzzle, can it? So what, do you, what did this do? spin enough? There must be another source of wind, because I can't even tell what that did. There aren't even any more locked doors. There's a locked door, but there aren't any barred doors. Did I get a key? Maybe it's on a different floor. Oh wait, there's something right here. Oh no, that's how I get out. I guess we're done with this floor. I don't have a key. Do I have any lockpicks? 
No? Hmm. There's three exits from this floor, so there must be an extra one here. So we'll find another key somewhere else. Not sure what this windmill does. I wonder if we got it to spin enough. It's kind of hard with that enemy chasing me. Hey, what's up, insane? Is there like a wind potion? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Very curious. I wonder if the the fury is on this level. My horny helm plus one. <laughs> that was sick. I think we only got the surprise attack on one of them. The bleeding killed a bunch of them anyways. Oh, they can stun you? I have... I hadn't noticed that before. I've seen them shriek, but I haven't been stunned yet. That's nasty, actually. Especially if they're in, like, a pack. Yeah, usually you find one of these if you, there's a windmill switch. Windstone. This magic stone periodically produces wind. Say striking it, it seems to activate it. Whoa. Yo, here it is. Meteoric Iron. One unit of Meteoric Iron or Meteoric or Iron Ore, also called Peace, feels extra heavy and is extremely hard to shape. A specific type of forge is needed to use it, to work it. It's happening. We have a scroll table, but no um, blank scrolls. Are you stuck? <laughs> can't can't get past the wind. Ouch. There is a key. I wonder if that opens the door upstairs. Oh, it probably opens that one. I suppose I can't drag this upstairs. Keys can only be used in one place. It doesn't matter if I try to use this here or not. Like, I, like it's not like I could have bombed this to save a key to use later. That was a miss. These guys are sleeping. I want to hit. 
back road. Oh, that was close. Indeed, keys are for special or specific doors. Only special keys have doors on different levels. Okay, so all those doors will be on the same level. That is good to know. <laughs> Love how the guy giggles when some of the, the enemies die sometimes. That actually sounds like a or feels like a very barbarian thing to do. Okay, did we open this yet? No. It's an interesting wall. There's a lot of harpies. Poor Grievous! <laughs> My dude giggled. Oh, that actually worked extremely well. This would be a great seed for that rogue achievement where you have to kill the 20 or 30 harpies with sneak attacks. Definitely be a good one to do that. You can clean most of those up on this floor. Hmm. Would this be that fireball staff? Whoops. Oh, good thing it wasn't lit. Howling wind. Okay, that's how we, we activate the thing upstairs. Excellent. Okay, I don't see any fire sources nearby. Whoops. I did not mean to use that ration, but I needed health anyways. Some extra bleed proc chance in the cleaver is actually pretty nice. Something I was curious about, uh, Luda Motion Dev. Um, do different classes have different generation of items on certain seeds? I noticed that archers generate lots of arrows. Um, and it seemed like wizards generate lots of recharging scrolls and less strength potions. Seen pretty cool because I don't think I've seen a rogue like that does something like that before. Okay, there's one more door here. I probably have to dra drag this windstone over here. They do. There are some drops that are marked as class specific drops. I, ha I had a feeling that was the case. That's awesome.
Yeah, it didn't seem like something that like greatly greatly impacted um, what a seed would look like item wise, but it was enough to just like kind of shift things around so that uh, different play styles and classes would kind of have their own appeal. Oops. Icicles. Speaking of wizards, we have a lot of staves. Freezing shards. All right, I think we're done with this floor. Nope, no blank scrolls. I can't copy anything. I love how these harpies can't fight against the wind. Let's see if this windmill does anything when I use its staff. Ah, we got music again. That last floor was pretty quiet. I think that might be a feature of some of those chasmy windy floors. Okay, well that doesn't seem to do anything. this lever. Hmm, that was yellow. Okay. <clears throat> Although we might be missing a secret here. Because there's still a locked door. Just come back with some lock picks or something. Kind of looks like the lock door actually had to be a barred one. Uh, that would make sense. Yeah. Like this would open that normally. I could explain that. Well, hopefully it's not too important because there's a staircase behind it, it seems. Close to a good time to use this detect magic scroll, I think. Crawling lake. Oh, it's a lake of fire. Spear is my weakness. Play monkey. So there's gonna be a figurine puzzle on this floor. Oh, oh my God. That thing seeked me out so hard. I 
got sniped by that ember. So I'll go up here for now. Four life potions? This game has really turned around. Not long ago, we had no healing items and were dying to a troll. And I said something along the lines, using this much healing resources is early. <laughs> Be a run under. with that. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I put I dropped the flask down and they landed in the lava. Okay, don't drop items near lava. My bad. <laughs> that was quite unexpected. Classic fire puzzle. Another clay monkey. Gotta have them. Are there somewhere extinguishing fires um, creates doors and chests? I couldn't remember if those existed in this game and I keep trying them and nothing's happened so far. I wonder if I should uh, quit wasting my water potions. <laughs> um, I guess there's a way across here. Not that you recall. Okay, that's good to know. Whoa, those guys can just crawl over the lava? That's awesome. I guess they are immune to the lava, but... Knowing that and seeing it are two different things. I'm gonna go downstairs and use a detect magic potion. Or scroll. Big value scroll. I had a... Okay, I do remember that magic leather armor. We grabbed that a long time ago. I wonder if this is going to be levitation or fire resistance. Is this fire? Wait, something over here? Wait a minute. A small rock in the middle of a lava lake. Aha! Strength potion. Oh yeah. Seventeen strength. I want to try out this heavy club. We can wheel two-handed.
Are all of your other stats just zero? Uh, well, these aren't quite like strength. Um, these just give you kind of like minor bonuses to different, like these are more like skills than stats, if that makes sense. Archery, magic lore, melee, nimbleness. Um, you gain these from using rings and magic items that improve them. So strength is the only one that you get permanent upgrades to. Uh, this is a barbarian's island. So as a barbarian, um, we're stuck with this horny helmet. That's it's a plus one helmet that we cannot take off, and we are penalized uh, with for wearing armor. Armor requires four more strength than listed. But we also get nine life instead of six from potions of life, which is pretty awesome. A lot of empty cauldrons. I wonder if life potions are also a class item for barbs. Uh, that might be correct because we have a lot of them so far. The idea of having like a big health pool uh, light armor warrior is pretty cool. Horny helmet and a big stick who made this game? <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> I found out there's a magic room in the smoking vaults. It has four pedestals of stones marked with different shapes. Apparently you just need to remove the one that is the key. Okay, so remove everything but the key. Ouch. I'm out of water potions. I guess we'll end up using a life potion here. Hey, thanks for the uh, subscription, True Faz. I could just heal up with rations. Okay, that'll free up inventory space too. We need to figure out what the key is. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I spotted the the trap. I didn't react quickly enough. It seems like a level that may have a lot of traps on it. got here because you were hoping to learn Golden Crown Hotel from my YouTube channel. Love the podcast. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Golden Crown Hotel videos on my YouTube channel right now. Feel free to ask any questions here as well. Very good game. Love that one. So this is an explodey rock. That's a gas rock. A potent combination. Oh, this will be good or bad. Actually, this will probably tell us the clue. If you count the number of jade cats in the secret treasury, you will know the number of corners that the key should have. Ooh, back away 
from that. get some more water potions. Uh, we got rings of superior magic ward. Wow! Wow! This normally takes three magic sigils to get to craft. Magic immunity, that's huge. That's awesome. That's a great enchant target. Uh, we also have a ring of swordsmanship plus one, which we don't have any swords. But that's a good, decent reason to use one. You saw the frog run, but you didn't find something explaining the basics like I did for Cogmind, and you don't know exactly why, but you're really lost in Golden Crone. You didn't find anything covering the basics like you found for Tome, for example. Seems like nobody is talking much about that game. Yeah, that game is criminally... Um, under discussed it has a pretty strong following and, and people do mention it a lot but there's not a lot of like high level discussion i guess doing like a uh oh i knew that was gonna happen i somehow did not catch on fire yeah doing a nice like um like kind of detailed explainer like high level explainer video for that would be would be pretty good I think oh we got two swords here to use our swordsmanship ring with if we want these are like weak weak baby swords though and we're not weak babies we are strong barbarians <laughs> Blow gland. The fire in here. Probably a fire trap. Don't I have, yeah, I have like an extra one even. really good you often recommend it to your friend who wants to try roguelikes because they don't really get your love for them but you can't really help them when they start i think it's a better recommendation than a more complicated one yeah golden crown hotel is a uh, a very good like beginner roguelike it has very simple mechanics but it still has a lot of depth to it that's what i really like about it Secret treasury on this floor. Oh, fireball staff. Yo, we're like cross classing wizard and <laughs> barbarian here with all these staves.
Yeah, Brogue's another good one for new players. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Luda Motion Dev. Always a pleasure to have you around. That dragon's going down. Where did that teleport me? That was weird. Just didn't take us that far. There wasn't a teleport destination there. I wonder if that was a random teleport. Well, I don't know where the secret treasury is, but it does seem like there is a hidden room up here. So let's start here. I supposed to know about this if I didn't use detect magic. I don't see any obvious signs that this was here. One jade cat. Three jade cats. Another staff. Four jade cats. That is a square. I wonder if that teleporter would have taken us there eventually. Maybe that's how you're supposed to get there. has four corners. It's a diamond. It's not a square. Oh, shoot. I did this wrong? I knew I, I should have read this. Remove the one that is the key. I thought we had to remove everything but the key. Damn. There's probably something amazing behind here. Oh no! Reading comprehension fail. Never played Brogue, and even if you started with an ASCII game, you really prefer tiles now. It's also a barrier for people you know. It's way clearer when you have a tile if something's a rat or a dragon and approachability matters when you discover a game or genre. Yeah, I uh, agree with that. <clears throat> That's why I use tiles on stream most of the time. And other fireball staff. I don't use tiles with Brogue though. Actually. We have so many stabs. Yeah, this is regular mode. Um, yeah, Brogue, Brogue has some pretty basic tiles. It's the, the Oryx tile set, similar to the ones that Infarcana uses. Combine fireball and lightning. Uh, yeah, that does something. It makes an, a staff of switching that alternates between the two. What's the value in that, though? I guess we could try it. Does it combine their, their enchantments or something? All right. 
Let's get off this floor before I keep getting sad about that, uh, that puzzle. I'm sure we can continue this dungeon though. I think we're we may be victims to a uh, a failed dungeon generation. Oh, maybe I have a descent scroll. That could be the the answer here. Yeah, let's try a descent scroll. Because there's no way to get to this level. And everything else is a dead end. Pain? Oh, shoot. I was not ready for that. Oh my god, I missed. GG for us. We're stuck here. Um, I don't have any lock picks. Maybe there's a, a chasm somewhere? It would have to be on this level. Yeah, we can't get through this door. I think we may be soft locked. Oh, I know that feeling for sure. <laughs> Having trouble discovering new games because you want to keep playing the, the old ones. That's the thing about this genre. All these games you can play for... Well, not all of them, but the, the good ones are the ones that you find you enjoy. You can play for hundreds, thousands of hours. Um, I see no pits on this level. bit of a bummer. This, it's, it's rare, but this game does have um, like failed level generation sometimes. I think we might have just run into that. Pray for help near the closed door. We could try that. Although it, it doesn't usually... Will that just straight up unlock a door sometimes? I don't know if that's a prayer effect. You can try that. It's a good idea. There's chasms here. Let's try the prayer real quick. I think we can use a chasm here. Uh oh. My game just slowed down. I need to save. Oh, it just crashed. That happens every once in a while. We should have a save still, but if we don't, it's probably not a huge loss on that game. Yeah, our save's still there. Should we sacrifice something to density? And then maybe he'll heed our prayers and open this lock. Let's try this first. Wow. Great call, Renell. That's 
a fantastic call. Crimson liquid. This is gas. Did we just pray a lock open? This was a, a dungeon generator issue. This door generated lock instead of barred. This and this are supposed to open this door. Fell victim to broken generation a few times yourself. Yeah, that was one of the one of the things that prayers exist for and like in in some roguelikes is you know, if the, the procedural generation gets you stuck somehow, like, it's a way to get out. Um, I've never seen that one in this game, though. That's a really cool trick. Grievous saved us there, which I wasn't expecting. Actually, you know, I gave Grievous our, our axe earlier. So Grievous likes us. Um, Unexplored 2 is out on early access on the Epic Game Store. Full release should be later this year. Did harpies carry weapons? Oh my god, this one's dual wielding. Ugh. Dude, spears every time. has a horny helmet. We're brethren. Tannies are cute, yeah. <laughs> that one has tusks. Vicious are your tusks. Oh my god. Kill these guys in one hit instead of two. Oh my god. Ugh. That one has a skull for a head. Ouch. <laughs> I was not expecting you to throw a dagger. Mutant. Oh, this is a mutant? It has wings with which it can fly and there's no skin on its skull. It looks quite horrific. Oh my god. This one has powerful wings. One hand has mutated into a vicious claw. Trying to claw me. Wait, are these all mutants? Oh, they are. That's why they're carrying carrying uh, weapons. They're not um, harpies. They're mutants with wings. That's so cool. That's really cool. That's why this one has tusks. This one can't hurt me because it doesn't have a weapon. Oh. 
That guy was waiting for me. It was an ambush. Oh my god. Are you close to the fire? better? Uh, I don't think so, because this is a heavy club. Wait, what? I think it's the same tier as that, although I don't see where it went. I think this is a lot less damage. Crushing and piercing damage. What is this? Spinners. Okay, I'll turn those off. Strength potion. Eighteen strength. Spear, Cleaver. I should give this Cleaver to Grievous. Oh! I wonder why there are so many. Oh! I bet you're wondering how I got into this position. Uh, this exceptionally large mutant clearly has some form of human ancestry. However, it has somehow adapted the hostile environment of Dungeons of Doom in various ways. It has powerful wings with which you can fly. It's got two vicious claws instead of hands. Are those tusks coming out of its mouth? And it apparently also shoots magic missiles. Oh, I, I dodged that? What? I do have the magic warding ring. Oh, so I didn't dodge it, I just absorbed it. Magic warding ring to the rescue. Do I want to get hit again? Because I don't know if this will start charging right away. I think it only charges when it's empty. Wait till it's almost dead. And then we'll take a hit before we finish it off. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh great, we let him in. He's stunned, get him. Okay, so I'm gonna intentionally take a hit here.
Oh, maybe it was charging. Because I've got a little sliver there. I feel like it charges faster when it's empty, though. Okay, depleted. Guess we'll find out. Hey, what's up, Danny? I think these clay monkeys aren't for anything. I want to. I want to give this cleaver to Grievous. I think he would like that. This was a cool place to find a boss. The abomination flying over a pit of lava. here we haven't used. There's a glider here too. And no problem Captain Sandwich. Hope you get, start feeling better. This game does have great music. Her. I believe it is all dynamic as well. Oh my god. I'm walking to the fire. To the lava. Speaking of which... I should find... Can I make this? Barely. I should find more water. So much is happening. Yeah, this game, it can be calm and then it can get hectic real fast. Oh shoot, where did you come from? Did you see that guy throw that dagger at me? Oh my god. Can you glide over lava? Yes, but those gliders don't appear intended for that use. <laughs> Favorite class so far? Um, I don't know. They've all been a lot of fun. It's hard to, to pick one like that. I know isn't a great answer, but it's true. Come on, I just want your arrows, dude. I was hoping I wouldn't kill him over that pit because of that. Barbarian's been fun, cleric was fun, wizard was fun. I like the combat classes, so like Warrior, and this Barbarian's a lot of fun so far. Oh, a shop. Rings. Hold up. I wonder how much rings cost. I don't remember. I feel like I should bring at least 150 gold in there. Or 250, I mean. Maybe ideally like 300. Gives the possibility of buying more than one ring. Although, we're not going to get rid of this magic ward ring, I don't think. We could swap it in and out, maybe. But... This actually hasn't recharged at all yet. Which is interesting.
Description seems to tell you something about recharging it. You can recharge it with a scroll of recharging or a scroll of enchanting. Okay, so this one doesn't actually recharge um, like that. Okay. It's like a staff. Hey, what's up, uh, Sartan Dragonbane? Yep, new old game. That's a good one. Actually, all my games are new old games, aren't they? <laughs> Fair enough. So that opens this door. haven't we been? Just here. Right? There's a lot of windmills I haven't activated, though. About a 4K 144 hertz monitor yesterday and realized all you ever play are old DOS games. Remember, not my last PC build, but the one before it. Um... I like built this like new PC with a nice graphics card and I was like just ended up playing NetHack for a few weeks. Yo, more meteoric ore. Excited to see what we can crash with that. this just opens that door. Okay. <clears throat> cool, I think we're done here then. Come back to the shop if I get a little bit more gold. Let's br let's bring at least two hundred. I've been playing Diablo Two Resurrected. That game looks awesome. Black grounds of the strong. Black grounds makes me want to refill my coffee. Approaching the bottom of my cup. Who is this water? Holy water. Oh my god, I took more fish damage. I bane. I don't know what holy water does. Somehow you feel safer in its presence. Diablo is basically net hack. Uh, it definitely has a lot of uh, roguelike DNA. Ooh, we got a Triforce door. Apply it to weapon. Extra damage to unholy creatures. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks for the tip. Oh, where did you come from? Stalker. Oh, I guess you were stalking. There's probably a fire trap in this room. Out. This guy isn't going to leave, is it? I'm 
Metallurgy for dummies. You probably didn't know that the Amulet of Yendor was forged out of meteoric iron. The only place to work that kind of metal is the legendary forge of de destiny. <laughs> I can't say it anymore. Destiny. No other forge is hot enough to work in meteoric iron. Diablo is turn-based at the start. I, I heard about that. I had heard that. I wonder how that would have played turn based. Sounds pretty sweet. Oh shoot, that gas will blow up in here. I guess it would probably play like NetHack actually, like we were just talking about. That's a big gargoyle. And I just took gecko damage. Oh shoot, can you guys just ignite over lava? I only had one arrow? Okay. I found out what I was doing wrong with the... Uh, with bows, by the way. You have to hold them down to use them. Dagger of Disarming, that's super cool. I love all these like utility daggers you can get. Oh, I had a ton of resist fire. I could have used that instead of water. When I didn't have water earlier. Should have considered that. Goblin mage. He's got a shovel. Oh my god, he just wrecked me too. I took so much damage from that encounter. There's a way to go really deep here. I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid of this room. Gargoyles could have armor. I wouldn't mind finding some armor. Yeah, the holy water is temporary. Oops. Since I'm not fighting anything that's weak to holy water, there's no use to use it, or no reason to use it right now. That's probably a fire trap. They have very heavy armor, if any. Our strength is getting high enough where we could probably actually use reasonably heavy armor. Diablo postmortem video on YouTube. Oh, that sounds really cool. Oh. I plus one helm of horniness. Indeed. Yeah. 
That was close. That was very close. Scattered the twisted grounds of the Cyclops and heard a monster snoring in the darkness. I'm pretty sure I recognize the snores of a Cyclops. Just some advice. A Cyclops is a huge monster that is almost impossible to kill unless you kill its pet plants first. But, and you did not know this, I'm sure, those plants have eyes. You really don't want to be seen by them. Oh, shoot. Full on flask, that's fine. I need to drop. Oh, I have two shovels. Okay. okay I don't need the scrolls of pain. Cyclops level. Yeah, that one's always funny because that, that level is almost always named after the Cyclops, I think. Um, I'm still carrying this Mithril Monkey around. I want all of these things. Anything that's not stacking? Hmm. Uh, these, these triangles are way better than Cogmine triangles. gold up here. And a forge. But I don't think that's the forge of destiny. Yeah, that's the plan, Kenny. I, I forgot I had it, though. The Mithril Monkey's worth 500 gold on the surface. It's hard to, like, not carry that around, you know? Okay, the stairs are here. Let's take it up. Oh, that's a book. Badly burnt and soaked in holy water. Very difficult to read. Have I gotten to the surface? Um, I did once many moons ago. And I hardly remember the experience. my triangle. Now there's one more that we haven't found yet. What did they do? Um, you need three of them to unlock that Triforce door. They're, they're keys in this instance. Do I have anything to forge? Anyone know what I can do with bloat glands and fire ant glands? 
I'm guessing this will make resist fire. Maybe this makes gas potions. Um, I want some more gold before I go to the ring store. Um, there's gold up here. Oh, the gold disappeared. I detect gold um, isn't visible anymore. Interesting. Fire ant is resist fire. How do you use it? Or can you just eat it? Oh, shoot. It's a trap. Well, I actually don't think I need any... Oh my god. <laughs> Can't get rid of the thing. I actually don't think I need any resist fire or... Well, actually resist fire, even if I have five of them, is kind of nice. I'm probably good on explosion potions, though. Legendary Glades. All right, we have ourselves a run going here. I'm gonna take a short break and then we will continue. Getting past that like mid game hump. This is where things start to get like really exciting, I feel. be right back. I'll see you guys shortly. It's nice that there doesn't appear to be any nutrition mechanic letting you browse and explore around freely. Uh, yeah, that is true. You don't regen health though, which is the reason that that isn't there, I think. There are some ways to exploit that though, because some things recharge over time. All right, be back in a bit.